Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting this bird using oil over acrylics. So I started out using acrylic paint and I did not film the first part of the painting where I did the background. I actually used an airbrush and I wish that I had filmed it but I am sorry I didn't. Um, I used the Neo by Awada, the Gravity Feed Dual Action Airbrush and I use the Wicked Colors by Createx and the High Flow Acrylics by Golden. And I actually like the Golden paints better, but I actually really love painting with the with the airbrush, just the backgrounds. I don't think I could paint like anything detailed, but it's it's kind of like just freeing to paint and I don't know like it just it comes out so like blurry and it just it's perfect for backgrounds so right now I'm painting the bird and I'm actually using Liquitex basics acrylic paints and I don't normally use acrylics I don't like acrylics that much um, I haven't used them since I was in college which was probably about 20 years ago when I first started my painting one class I was introduced to acrylic paints and I hadn't painted an acrylic since I was in elementary school so I mean I really liked them at first because that's all I knew and then a couple months into the class she introduced us to oils and then I fell in love so oil paints are what I love the most but I thought that I would give acrylic paint a chance again. So I'm, I'm painting with the Liquitex Basics and I didn't like those as much because they're so thin and so I ordered some acrylics by Golden and some by Winsor Newton just so that I could, you know, get a feel for them and I like the ones by Golden and Winsor Newton more than I like the Liquitex Basics because they're a little thicker and they, um, they don't dry as fast, I guess, because they're not as thin. But my, my goal was to paint this whole painting with acrylics, and it just didn't happen. Um, I tried to keep going with them, but I just kept looking over at my oil paintings, and they were just my oil paintings, my oil paint, and it was just, the paint was calling to me. It's like, Michelle, you need to paint with me. So I, I ended up putting my acrylics down and once they were dry, I painted over it with oils just because they blend so much better. But at this point, I'm still painting with acrylics. So, and I was, I started painting with these tiny brushes that I don't normally use. I normally use a liner brush, but my hands get shaky sometimes, and so I needed something that was smaller that I could kind of rest my hand on the canvas and use, just to get some of these little tiny feathers in. Do I like them as much as a liner brush? No, I don't. I would much rather use a liner brush and, and be able to hold my hand back, but when my hand is shaky and I can't, you know, I have no choice. And I can actually get a much finer line with my liner brush. I loved using all these bright colors. It was a lot of fun. And the one thing that I have to say about the acrylics, I like that they dry quick. I mean, they do. it does have benefits that it can dry quick and then you can go right back over and fix something. 
then when it comes to blending, you have to be really fast. So I'm getting to the point now, I'm still using the still using the acrylics, but I'm wanting I'm wanting to use those oils. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with acrylic paint. I admire people that can paint in, acry in acrylics and and um, be able to blend so easily. I'm just not one of those people. And if you look over to the right, I have, there's a screen. That's where my um, my monitor is, and I've got the bird pulled up, and I have um, I have I zoom in so that I can see the parts of the bird better, and I can look at it in more of an abstract way. So right now, I am using my oils. I can tell. The bird is on a concrete um, perch, and there's like some metal wire wrapped around it. And I'm now I'm using my liner brush, and then you can see that my my hand is back a lot further on it, <clears throat> so it's easier for me to control. And those long brushes the, with the long handles, they are so that you can hold the brush back further, and when you're painting, you can stand back further from your painting so that you can actually see. Um, what you're doing better because when you're painting if you notice when you go to stand back and look at it it looks a lot better um, that way when you're painting you can actually it's like you're standing back all the time and you can see This is my first time painting a bird, and I found it um, a little bit challenging. I just started painting like um, animals just the past like two years. Before that, like all I painted was people. That's all I painted was portraits. And so this is kind of, it's kind of a nice change. I just love the blue feathers that are on the bird. That was like my favorite part to paint because that's my favorite color. And so here I'm painting the wire and 
I kind of got out of hand and went over, like, way over what I was supposed to, and so it made it a lot thicker. So I ended up having to fix that. So I had to go in with the green um, oil paint over the background, and I was able to fix it and blend it and make it look like it was still airbrushed. And so here I'm just putting in some more feathers, putting in the little details. I really did end up enjoying this painting a lot. It was fun doing all the colors and it makes me want to paint more birds. and definitely use the airbrush for my backgrounds. I think next time I want to try to use the airbrush for a background and um, a colored pencil drawing. That would save so much time. You see the, how fine the lines I can get with that liner brush by not holding it up close. Holding it up in the back, holding it from the back is the best way to do it. So I can get those tiny details in. And here is the finished piece. I hope that you like it, and thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.